Dance Moms is about to make their return with a reunion with some of the original girls and their moms. And I recently talked about how this all started filming last week. But ever since the word got out and the girls have been posting a ton of behind the scenes, there's been a lot of fans of the show that have had something to say about who decided to attend and who didn't. And now some of the girls are speaking out about why they either decided to be a part of the reunion or why they didn't decide to be a part of it. The reunion was being filmed in Los Angeles over the span of three days, which I did not think it was going to be a three day filming thing. I thought that they were only filming for one day, but they were there. They were in the hotel if they didn't live in Los Angeles and they were filming Get Ready With Me. They were filming behind the scenes and it was over a span of three days. So there is a lot of content that we are about to get in this reunion. That's how I'm feeling about it. But since Maddie, Kenzie, and Nia live in Los Angeles, they were hanging out with the original Dance Mom girls that had flown in the night prior to filming the reunion, but they didn't actually attend the reunion. Since they were clearly absent from the taping, people began running to their comment section on social media asking where they were, why they didn't attend. There were just so many questions that people had, a lot of assumptions that were being made. Now, like I said in my last video talking about Dance Moms, given that Maddie doesn't even like to say Abby's name when she's being interviewed, I was not surprised that she didn't want to be a part of the reunion. It seemed like her and her sister Kenzie want to leave the show in their past and didn't really want to revisit that time in their life. But fans of the show didn't really love that they didn't attend and question whether or not the girls that didn't go thought they were too good to be a part of the reunion or if they had drama with the other girls if something had happened the night before. But honestly, that didn't make sense to me because they were posting a ton with each other. They were all sharing it. They seemed like they had a great time. So I didn't think that it had to do with their drama being between the girls at all. But Kenzie was on TikTok Live the other day and and the entire chat was flooded with questions asking about why her and Maddie were not attending the taping of the reunion. And she just decided to clear the air since so many people were asking. Why were we not at the reunion? Um, it had nothing to do with the girls or anything. We just like, we just didn't really want to go back in time. You know what I'm saying? To that era of yeah we just i don't know i think a lot of people were like speculating that we like weren't there for like this reason or this reason but we just like didn't so we didn't want to go back in time if that makes any sense i just don't see a a reason um but like yeah i don't know as far as I've seen, Nia hasn't come out and said anything as to why she didn't attend the reunion, but there's certainly been a lot of people that have questions for those that didn't and they've been getting some backlash, but they aren't the only ones that have been getting questions about who and why was there and not. The girls who did attend the reunion were also getting a lot of questions in regards to the filming, wondering how they felt about those who didn't attend. And Kalani was on TikTok Live the other night as well, and people kept asking about, you know, how do you feel about people that weren't there? Is there drama? Are you mad at them? And she decided to address it. But, you know, if you weren't, if the people that didn't come didn't come, and that's okay, I obviously, I wish they would have came because I think that it was amazing and I think it made us all super close and I think they should have came. But if they didn't want to, then they didn't want to, you know, and that's their decision. They're allowed to make that decision. The girls who did attend the Dance Moms reunion did seem to have a good time. They were filming a ton of TikToks, like I said, giving all of the behind the scenes footage. And Kalani talked about how this was an opportunity for a lot of them to get some closure from the show as well. The ones that did show up was really, it was really awesome. I was, I, we had a gr great time. I know that it's like hard for us to talk about the things that we went through, but I think it made us, first of all, so much closer and just helped us get a lot of closure on the show or in closure on everything that happened. Also for me, like I know that the show gave me everything that I have today. So I think a lot of us just kind of felt that it was, um, a way to like thank everybody, you know, to thank everybody 
that made us who we are. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't be... <clears throat> I wouldn't be anything without the show. So I knew that I wanted to go more or less just pay my respects to everything that it was. Now, the girls who attended the reunion couldn't reveal too much about what was said or anything like that. But Kalani did reveal that Abby was not there, as well as some other girls who were not invited, saying that producers were the ones that picked out who went to this reunion. It wasn't really between them. Um, Abby was definitely not at the reunion. We weren't, we're not even supposed to talk about who was at the reunion and who wasn't, but... Uh, I actually don't think Bryn was invited. It's not something that the cast can say. We we don't know. I, don't, I really don't know much, but I don't think she was invited because that was just our producers invited us, right? So um, they invited who was there, and I, I wanted to do it, obviously, just to get some closure. Vivi would have been dope to have on. She was not invited. I don't think. Now, Abby being there or not was something I was wondering. I feel like had she been there, a lot more of the girls might have said no or a lot of the moms would have also said no because there's certainly a lot of bad blood there. Even though everyone has come out to say that things on the show weren't always real, they drummed up the fights for TV. To the girls, it was very real because a lot of them were just so young and it was hard for them to decipher what was real and what was fake. So those fights to them were very real and scary at times which is something that they have all come out and talked about. And it's why a lot of them don't have good memories from the show. But the moms did realize that a lot of the time, the fights that they were in were, you know, a performance. They were doing it to get on the show, to get some more TV time. And that was something that they understood amongst each other. But when it came to Abby, a lot of them had said that she was nice in the beginning, but then her character on the show kind of became her personality. And there is real beef between them and Abby. And this is something that Melissa talked about. I've made a video talking about Melissa and her experience on Dance Moms, but she did talk about Abby kind of switching up as the show went on. Beginning, like Abby was so much fun with the girls. She used to literally put like 11 girls in her Hummer and take them to the movies. I mean, like she would pile them in and she would buy them all this junk food at the dollar store and then get them into the movies and they would have so much fun and then they would go to Sonic Burger and eat junk food. Um, I mean, she's was a lot, a lot of fun. The show is a lot of pressure um, and they wanted her to yell. And then I think it just came a habit for her and then she just loved it. I don't know if she loved it, but she definitely became mean from the show. But I think we all became different people, of course. And when Abby was on Sophia with an F's podcast not too long ago, she was talking negatively about Melissa, who is Maddie and Kenzie's mom. So there is certainly real stuff that went down alongside those produced storylines and led to actual dislike for one another when it comes to Abby. She felt like she was also owed money from the music that Kenzie had made. And she also felt like Maddie had been brainwashed or something when it comes to her experience on the show. And it's not the only parent that she has had a problem with. So had she actually been there for filming, it probably would have been an empty room or something. Well, actually, no, because Jojo does get along with her and they've hung out plenty after the show. So it would have probably been the Abby and Jojo show since she's literally like one of the only ones that actually keeps up with Abby. But it'll be really interesting to see this when it does come out, what the producers ask the girls and how they're going to format it, because it looks like they interviewed the girls with their moms about their experience. But I don't know if there's gonna be like a round table or what. Galani says that they did get some closure. So it sounds like they are going to be talking about maybe some of the hard things from filming the show. Maybe the producers are going to apologize to the girls since a lot of their troubles with the show have come from the fact that producers didn't seem to realize how affected the kids would be from the environment that they were in on the show and how much work went into juggling school, dance, filming, and the dramatics going on around them. But we shall see. Right now, they've been saying that this is set to come out sometime next year, at least according to the girls, but there's no set date as of right now. I certainly want to know what you guys think about them filming this reunion. The fact that Abby wasn't there, who went, who didn't go, and the fact that some people feel like everyone should have gone, even if they didn't want to relive the past. I certainly want to know your thoughts. Let me know in the comments. I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys.